This used to be the resting place of Prince Zelma... What's his name? <clears throat> Looks like the prince left his crown behind. It'll make a swell souvenir. The vines have busted in through the back of the sarcophagus. This used to be the resting place of Prince Zanma. It's already open. <laughs> Phew, that was hard work. That should do the trick. It's pretty sticky. Hmm, it looks loose. This would make a great gift for Princess Azura. It's off. Whoa, what a trip. Hey, over here! Oh, it's you again. Say, you're one of Doc Einstein's boys. What are you doing in that cage? I accidentally set off a trap. I pulled when I should have pushed. Who are you? I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Your boss sent me here to find some crystal skull. Well, your search is over, Mr. King. My name is Ian, and I have what you are looking for right here with me. You do? Yes. Now, if you'll just help me out of this cage. We can both bask in glory when we return with the skull. How do I know I can trust you? Of course you can trust me. We are both on the same side, are we not? Besides, you need to release me to get the Crystal Skull. Can I have a look at the Crystal Skull? Do you take me for a fool? The skull stays hidden on my person until you get me out of this cage. How do I get over to where you are? 
I can't remember the exact route. But I do know that you'll have to find your way past a giant snake. How long have you been hanging around here? Is that meant to be a joke? Hey, lighten up a little. You guys need a sense of humor. There is little time for humor in our organization. Taking over the world is a very serious business indeed. I gotta go now. Hurry up and rescue me, okay? It looks loose. Yo! That thing is hot. I think I just fried the hand puppet. It smells of coffee. It's been here so long, it's fused to the statue. These strange markings are the remnants of some long-dead civilization, probably. I can't see any way over there. can't see any way over there. It's completely white. Must be due to the lack of light down here. I don't want to cut that. Now ain't the time to be playing. I'll stay right here. sticking out of the stone. Tying that up ain't gonna do me much good. It fits! Doesn't look very safe hanging from the roof. I think I can see a room on the other side of this wall. That doesn't seem to work. I can't see any way over. Stone wheel with us. That should do the trick.
looks like I hit pay dirt. It's closed. It's sealed shut. I can't see any way over there. It's got no flint. That should do the trick. Not such a good idea. I'd probably end up being bitten. It's on. I'm a pilot for hire, not a pyromaniac. Ya, pal. I ain't afraid of no snakes. He was carrying an ID card and a strange piece of stone. It looks like part of a stone carving. It belonged to the dead god in the temple. The poor guy was only 26 years old. It's incredibly smooth and reflective. The lizard heads are projecting a light amplified by a simulated emission of radiation. It's some sort of death ray! far over that glowing pit to reach. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I'd rather leave it here. The further back I stay from the pit, the better. It's too far over that glowing pit to reach.
I finally made it. About time. I'd almost given up hope. Just out of curiosity, what's in the pit? I'll tell you what. Get me down from here and we can swap places. Then you can see for yourself. Where did you find the skull? It must have been hidden pretty good. You bet it was. Whoever built this temple certainly knew their craft. I had to use my superior intellect to find it. So, where did you find it? Um, it was hidden in a secret room. Resting on a stone pedestal. I had to solve a complex puzzle to pick it up without setting off any death traps. What sort of puzzle? Uh, a complicated one. It involved math. Look, you wouldn't understand, so let's drop it, okay? I've got an idea. Excellent! What is it? Throw me the crystal skull and I'll go get help. Hey, that's a great idea. Then when you've gone, I can sit here playing I Spy until I rot. Nice try, King, but I'm not as stupid as you look. Excuse me. Yes? I've got another great idea. I can't wait to hear this one. Okay, this is it. I'd like you to untie the rope tethering the cage. Don't be ridiculous. If I untie the rope, I fall into the pit. Not the rope that the cage is hanging from. The rope at your feet. Ah, of course. I knew that. There. Great stuff. Now I can set you free. Worked. You're free. Excellent. You have done well. But I'm afraid this is where we part company. Hey, I thought we had a deal. Don't argue with me, King. Or I will have to shoot you. But I saved your life. And I am returning the favor. If I happen across you again, I may not be so kind. So don't follow me. What a creep. I don't think I'd have any use for that. I ain't gonna walk through those heat rays. Anderson, how soon until the Zeppelin is ready? Very soon, Dr. Einstein. Excellent. Once I have the skull, we will fly into the valley. Then I can begin my reign of terror. <laughs> what about King? What you plan to do with him? Don't worry, Anderson. I know how much you despise the man. Despise is probably too strong a word. 
I can assure you that he will never bother you again. Ever. Oh? We shall discuss this later. I have work to do. Soon, I will rule the world. <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? The doctor is insane, and he plans on killing Joe. Without him around, who will I gloat over? Hmm. On the other hand, I'll finally have him out of my hair. But then I'll have to live with his death on my conscience. Although Einstein is paying me good money, what a moral dilemma. What am I going to do? was that? He doesn't look too happy. There's a small indentation below the eye. It's stuck firmly in the stone. I have it! I have the big stick! But now what do I do with it? It's too heavy to budge. That water is really moving fast. 